Morocco seeks death penalty for jihadists who murdered backpackers. Moroccan prosecutors are seeking the death penalty for three suspected ISIS jihadists who admitted to butchering two female Scandinavian backpackers after they refused to join the extremist group, according to a new report. Louisa Vestrager Jespersen, 24, from Denmark, and Marin Oland, 28, from Norway, were killed December 17 in a tent near Mount Tubkal, one of Morocco's highest peaks. One was decapitated and the other had a severe neck wound, said reports at the time. Last month, two of the suspects, Abdusamad Ejout and Yunus Auziad, confessed to slaying the pair as they slept in their tent. Meanwhile, Rakat Afati fessed up to filming the killing, which was then shared with other ISIS sympathizers. We can't be lenient toward these human beasts, prosecutor Khalid El Kurdudi told the jury in his closing argument during the trio's trial on Thursday, according to The Sun. But Morocco has had a freeze on executions since 1993 lowering the chances that the suspects will actually face the death penalty. All three men had confessed their allegiance to ISIS in a video posted online only days before the slaying, the outlet reported. They were, lone wolves, who had not coordinated the killings with the Islamic State, authorities have said. After failing to join the Islamic State, we decided to do jihad at home, Edjout allegedly said in his confession. I regret what happened and I am still trying to grasp it. Then men had also reportedly said they planned to attack synagogues and churches. El Karodi also called for life in prison for yet another suspect who left the group the day of the murder, according to the outlet. Twenty people accused of providing funding or training to the trio are also on trial. They could spend 10 years to life behind bars if convicted, The Sun reported. Lawyers representing the women's families are also seeking damages from the Moroccan government, according to the report.